Hi and welcome everybody. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you um, about the position of the spleen and the kind of measurements and surface anatomy of it. Let us start with the uh, division of the abdomen. You know, there is another video about the uh, divisions or the patterns using to divide the abdomen. There are two types of division. In this figure, you can see the nine division pattern, but there is another division, for example, uh, if, you know, like here's the body, so we can divide the body as well into um, uh, four quadrants, right? You know, this is the umbilicus, okay, there is two lines, sorry, there is two lines, so um, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and right lower quadrant and left lower quadrant anyway so today you know when I talk about the position of the spleen if you look to the shadow of the spleen that's uh, located in this nine uh, the division it's located in the left hypochondrium this is the left hypochondrium if you divide the abdomen into um, four divisions, you know, this is the umbilicus. So it is in the left upper quadrant, right? So again, I will show you one thing that's really uh, interesting here that look this is the diaphragm this is the shadow of the diaphragm right and at the same time this is the shadow of the um, of the stomach right this is the abdominal esophagus sorry okay and this is the shadow of the stomach This is the lesser curvature. Okay, so if you look to the, the uh, spleen that's drawn in the green, you will see that it's located behind the uh, behind the uh, stomach, the fundus of the stomach, and between the as I said between the stomach and the diaphragm now let me uh, show you the measurements like there is an easy way to measure to uh, remember the uh, measurements related to the spleen look for these odd numbers I know there's number 10 so I will let you know about each number so there is an easy way to remember it. okay there's one three five seven nine ten and eleven the first three numbers, one, three, five, they indicate one, it indicates to the thickness of the spleen, three to the width, and five to the length of it. So, this is, for example, the spleen here, guys. So, the thickness, we cannot see the thickness, right? Uh, but you imagine it's about one inch. You can ask, okay, one inch, that's in the US and Canada, and I think in Europe they use inch. I think in the Middle East we use centimeters, right? So each inch is equal to 2.5 centimeter. So this is the um, uh, one is the one inch is the thickness and three inch is the width of it of the spleen and the five is it indicates the length from the upper pole to the lower of the spleen okay now this is one two uh, one sorry one three and uh, five inches now what about seven this is still an odd number so in sequence so seven is the kf seven ounces is around 200 grams this is the uh, weight of it now most importantly 19 and 11 these numbers 
indicate for the number of reps that's located or related to the uh, spleen. Let me uh, just erase these things and um, so if you look here guys there is a reps number 9 and reps number 10 and reps number 11. So the uh, spleen covered by the ribs normally look this is the costal margin and the inferior uh, border of it so normally spleen uh, is not palpable right but in case there is an enlargement in the spleen something called splenomegaly you will feel the anterior border of it you see these uh, uh, irregular notch you can feel them. Um, there is another, uh, I don't know if this is a video or another one, there is uh, something about spleen, spleen omega. Anyway, so look to the long axis of the spleen. No. Here is the long axis of it. So mainly the long axis is crossed by or parallel to the ribs number 10. So, the 9, 10, and 11, these numbers indicate to the number of ribs related to the spleen. This is the shadow of the uh, diaphragm, right? And look for the spleen, it's located uh, between the uh, stomach, this is the uh, stomach, and the diaphragm. And you can uh, say, okay, how can I locate the spleen? This is something called surface anatomy. How can I locate it? Well, easily we know that it's opposite to the uh, ribs number 9, 10, and 11. Now, how, how long is far from the mid-dorsal um, line? How far away from mid dorsal line? How can I exactly locate it? Okay, if you go to the back, to the mid of the back, this is the mid dorsal line. So, and this is the spine of T10. That means this is the spine of uh, vert the, the thoracic vertebra number 10. So, you just go four centimeters from the spine laterally so this four centimeters as you can see in here four centimeters from the spine of t10 laterally you will reach the posterior border of the spleen okay got it what about the anterior border the anterior border indeed it's easy in which it reaches the mid axillary line this line guys right this is the mid axillary line sorry right so how can i locate the uh let me raise these things okay how can i uh, how can i um, uh, localize the uh, spleen okay it's uh, behind reps number 19 and 11 and uh, the long axis of the spleen, the, this is the long axis of the spleen, located parallel to the ribs number 10. And what about the uh, anterior and uh, posterior border? Okay, the posterior border is 4 centimeters away from uh, the spinous process of vertebra, thoracic vertebra number 10. Right, this is the posterior border, and the anterior border of it is located or reached the mid axillary line. 